What's up YouTube? Sky that one guy here and today we have a mail day. This should be a pretty exciting mail day. I have a pretty good package here. I haven't opened it or looked in it yet at all. Still all sealed up. But uh, we're going to open this up and there's going to be some pretty good cards in here. Some old nostalgic cards. And uh, we're going to check them out together. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys can enjoy it. Uh, apologies for the poor camera angle. Still working on getting a uh, better tripod for the larger openings but uh for now hopefully you guys can bear with me i should have pre-cut this too but uh it should be well worth your guys' time this should be one of the better collections i've purchased and uh opened on the channel so hopefully you guys can bear with me i might cut this part out of the video if i have time I'm not sure okay so we have the box opened and I see binders, so that is a great sign. So let's go ahead and pull this all out. Oh, that's heavy. Okay. All right, so that's everything in the box. Probably gonna have to readjust the camera angle. So sorry for shaking camera. All right, so let's see what we got in here. So that's just packaging. This is taped. Oh, sorry, that was probably really loud. That was loud on my end. But like I said, this should be well worth it once we get this open. Okay, here we go. See a binder. More bubble wrap stuff. One second, guys. Should be, will probably be like three minutes into the video, five minutes into the video. Before we even start looking at cards. But it will be worth the wait. Okay, there we go. I already see. Whew, did you guys see that? Did anybody else see that? I saw it. Oh, yeah. Loud noises. Okay. So, here we go, guys. So, this collection, one of the best collections I've bought in a while. Um, there's some really old classic cards. LOB first edition cards in here. And I see one on the front page. My hands are getting a little shaky. I'm getting a little nervous. Sorry for the delay in between videos, but hopefully it'll be worth the wait. Just had a lot going on lately. Hopefully everybody's staying safe. Whew, and there we go. So this is LOB First Edition. If you guys don't see it. Whew. Be as careful as possible. There's an LOB First Edition Blue Eyes. The first one I've had on the channel. Whew, okay. Try and calmly get this out of here. Oh yeah, that was nice and easy. Put it right in this sleeve. And I'm going to actually get a little bit more protection on it, and then we're going to look it over right after that. So, bear with me for one more second, guys. Where did I just put that? I had it one second ago. Losing my mind. It's right here somewhere. Hmm. Looks like we're going this route. Okay. There it is. Okay. Sorry, guys. Hopefully, it'll all be worth the wait. Um, but yeah, so I had a guy reach out to me, and uh, him and his kid, uh, they started playing Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball Super Car game together. And uh, this guy wanted some money to fund that, and I actually had a whole bunch of Dragon Ball cards. So I sent him my uh, entire collection of Dragon Ball cards and a really good stack of cash and he gave me this collection of his old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I'm um, getting some really bad glare here. I wish I had better lighting. But this is an LOB first edition Blue Eyes White Dragon. And man, it looks beautiful. It's definitely wavy. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Camera angle is not doing it justice. There we go. Yeah, you can see the waves there. Definitely wavy. And boy, does it look clean. My goodness, look at that. Wow. My camera is not doing it justice at all, but it looks clean. Very happy with this. I'm going to look at it off camera for just one second. Okay, yeah, it looks great. It looks great, awesome. Okay. 
So there we have it. That was the highlight of the collection. First card. Whew. I was worried about that. I was, I was worried it would get damaged in shipping or something. But uh, we'll set that there. Can you guys even see that? Not even sure. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go through some of the other cards. I won't take as much time with these. Here's some big ones. Gaia the Fierce Knight. Let me get that in a sleeve. So we have two Gaias here. Both first edition LOB, I believe. I think he said one of these was the uh, Asian print and one of them was something like that. Sorry guys, these are some pretty expensive cards if you didn't know. So I'm taking my time with them. I'm just making sure we get the proper uh, sleeves on here safely. So it's definitely not uh, receiving any extra damage of any kind. And then we will inspect the conditions. I just want to go over some of the main, main more expensive cards and get them uh, out of this binder, you know, into, into some proper storage. And I will fix them later. So here we go. So we have two Gaia the Fierce Knights. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I was looking down while I was talking. So we have two Gaia the Fierce Knights LOB first edition. One is, it's not, uh, it's Australian print. There's an A there. So it still has the regular back, but it is a uh, foreign copy. But this one is the real LOB. And uh, the condition looks really good on these as well. Look at that. I mean, this is popping. So very happy with this. Got some beautiful cards here. And uh, LOB is really hard to find these days. It's getting really expensive. And uh, yeah, it looks like got a good uh, good amount of LOB first edition commons here. There's a LOB first edition pack wrapper. That's kind of cool. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and... Is this open easily? Nah, I'm not going to mess with that. Okay. So, there's a Trial of Hell. Let's see, can I get a better angle on that? Trial of Hell, first edition, LOB. That's pretty cool. They changed that to Trial of Nightmare. They uh, censored it, I guess. There's a Dark Fire Fusion. I don't have the best angle. Let's see, can I point the camera down more? Let's see if that helps. We'll have to take out the blue eyes off camera for a second. Some really nice LOB first edition cards here. Some really good classics. Really good stuff, so. Awesome, awesome. Legendary Sword. This is all LOB first edition. There's a Dark Hole Hollow. Let's check that one out. Awesome. Looks great. Yeah, these are really clean. Yeah, look at that. That looks nice. Okay. So, four hollows so far. LOB first edition. Not bad at all. Alright, you guys. Had a quick cut in the video there. Just a rookie mistake. Didn't charge the camera up. But uh, like I was saying, yeah, that dark hole looks really nice. Very happy with that. And we'll keep on going. I know I've taken up quite a bit of your guys' time already. But uh, we'll go through the rest of the... We'll pull out the hollows. Just look them over carefully. And these are all wavy. Wavy print. <clears throat> um, there's some guides on that on YouTube if you don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, man, yeah, these look really nice. This one has a little bit of a soft corner here in the bottom left. But uh, I don't think it's... It's not even really noticeable. So, beautiful, beautiful cards. Definitely some really good classics here. All right, let's get a sleeve on that. Or a uh, card saver, sorry. And then we'll pull out that trap hole. All right, beautiful polymerization, very nice. Look at that. This is some nostalgia right here for sure. I mean, can't get much better than this. This is the first set of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, is there two of these? There is two of these, okay, okay. Careful here, careful. Okay, and they're both first edition. Let's get these in sleeves. Yeah, this is definitely going to be one of my uh, slower 
paste mail day videos just because I'm sleeving up every hollow from LOB. Normally I would take the time, or I would uh, not take the time to sleeve these up on camera and I would sleeve them up afterwards. But since they're uh, LOB first editions, they're coming extremely hard to find now nowadays in good condition. So I'm I'm gonna take the time to sleeve them all up and uh, hopefully you guys can bear with me. There's one of the trap holes there. Let me get the other one sleeved up. And uh, these are my these are what I choose to sleeve these in. They're um, penny sleeves in card saver ones, which is the preferred method for uh, PSA. And it looks like this one does have a little nick on the side here. That's totally okay. The rest of the card looks very clean. I mean, look at that back. So nice. So one little nick is not a problem at all. And this one is the uh, this is the Australian. Yeah, L O B A. My my lighting is horrible. I'll work on it. But that is L O B A. So there's one Australian and one regular. Looks like that is a common trend here. Same with the Gaia. Okay, next page. There's a Curse of Dragon and a Mystical Elf that we're going to check out. Looks like there's two Curse of Dragons, so yeah, that must be a trend. I wonder, is one going to be Australian again? Oh my gosh, this Curse of Dragon looks so nice. Oh, they're both US, nice. Wow, look at that, my gosh. Look at that wavy print. Just mint. I mean, this thing doesn't even look like he ever touched it. And I did, um, I washed my hands and it's very well... Well, uh, good air in here, so there's no, no hand sweat, no real, no real grease going on the cards or anything like that. It's nothing to worry about there. Yeah, these Curse of Dragons are just mint. I mean, these are nice. Both of them, U.S. print. You know, you got the regular U.S. back. They are wavy, and they are mint. So, very happy with this purchase so far. Let's check out that Mystical Elf. Hopefully you guys are still having fun. Um, you know, and if you're bored, go on uh, TCG Player and just check out some some prices for LOB. You'd be surprised if they even have them in stock. Some of these cards are just getting crazy expensive these days. So yeah, very happy to get these. Some of these will uh, go in my personal collection for a very long time until I can find ones in better condition. Um, but some of these are probably... Well, I haven't looked at them in the proper lighting yet, but hopefully some of these have chances at PSA 9s and 10s. They definitely look good on my end so far, but uh, you can't ever really tell a card's condition until you look at it under the proper lighting. So uh, if you ever think you're going to grade cards, definitely I would suggest getting um, a light source. They're, they're pretty cheap on like Amazon and stuff like the ring LED lights, I can't remember what they're exactly called, but uh, they work really nice. So look at that, Mystical Elf just popping. Beautiful card. Very happy with this. Okay, let's see. So, turn that page. Some M Warriors here, Spirit of the Harp. I mean, if I didn't, I could make this like an hour long video and we can go over all these cards. I mean, there's so many good classic LOB first editions. It was a very vanilla monster based set, but there's still so many cool cards. There's definitely some uh, short prints in here. Looks like he bought quite a bit of LOB. So I see another hollow. We're going to go ahead and pull that out and just look over that together. Just trying to get it out of here as safely as possible. There we go. Wow, this one looks like uh, one of the best so far, for sure. So we'll just go over that here. So look at that surface. I mean, crystal clear, beautiful. Look at that. First edition, Swords Revealing Light, L.O.B. Very nice collection. I'm very happy with this. This was uh, very expensive, for those of you wondering. This costed quite a bit of money, plus I shipped him um, thousands of Dragon Ball Z cards with some uh, pretty good ones in there. Or Dragon Ball Super, not Dragon Ball Z, sorry. Um, but yeah, so really cool stuff. There's another hollow. Wow, okay. Definitely enjoying this. Okay, it's at the top, so I'm going to have to lean over the camera. There we go. Okay. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying this. Okay, so this is our first one that we've seen that has a soft, 
a really soft corner here at the bottom there's a bend there but that's okay because this is an LOBA so this is our third LOB Australian print which is totally fine all the others have been US um, copies instead of uh, these foreign Australian ones which Australian ones still are worth something I mean I'm still still happy to get that for sure okay so we're getting up there in hollows you guys can't even see them oh there we go this is a good page okay let's get this Exodia out of here oh yeah this Exodia is gonna be a good one I can feel this careful there we go okay oh no all right, so we got our our worst condition card so far. I'm not gonna sleeve that up right here. So everything looks good. It looks beautiful in a sleeve, but unfortunately, it does have an indent right there. You can see the warping from it. If you if you could feel it right here, it uh, lifts up. Let's see if I can capture it. Yeah. Oh yeah. There and there's some indents right there. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the worst condition one so far, but that's totally okay. Still an awesome card. And that's a this is a perfect example of a binder card. I mean, you put this in a binder, you can't even tell. Uh, the only way you can tell is by feeling it, but PSA would def definitely recognize that. So that would be a very low grade if I were to grade that one, but uh, still an awesome card. Definitely a beautiful binder card. I mean, Exodia, the Forbidden One, first edition, LOB. I mean, that still looks amazing. Look at that. I mean, it's still worth a good chunk of change in this condition. Uh, I mean, it looks perfectly flawless in this. You might even be able to flatten that back out. And then it would just be those two little indents right there. So still a very good card. But it is a shame that the uh, worst condition card we got so far was one of the most expensive. But that's totally okay. So we have a, another Australian print, L-O-B-A left leg but this one looks in perfect condition so far from what I've seen so that is a plus and I see one more important card on this well actually I see a few P pot of greeds actually a uh, really good card from this set okay I'm gonna pull out this monster born here and uh, yeah that pot of greed it's actually the most expensive rare in the set if I remember right so pretty good card there as well all right so this monster born looks amazing I mean look at that can we get a good angle on it there we go yep beautiful monster born awesome okay and we are almost done with the the LOB we might be done so some beautiful cards in here for sure. I'll take those pot of greeds out and look at them a little later. So now we're gonna speed through the rest of this. So we're in Metal Raiders and now everything is not first edition. So only the LOB was all first edition. The rest is a mix of first edition and unlimited. There's a Harpy Lady Sisters. I'm not gonna pull all the hollows out but I'll just pull this one out just to show you guys. So Harpy Lady Sisters. And um, yeah, so these are a mix of unlimited and first edition. I think with majority of them being unlimited, that's totally okay. Still some classic cards. Here's a Song of the Thunder, super rare. I'm not gonna pull out the hollows, but and then there's Kazajin and Suijin. So he does have the full Gate Guardian set. Common Aria attack. That's a good common. Magician of Faith. There's a Change of Heart. Definitely some good nostalgia here. So. If you're just here for the nostalgia, this is uh, the right place to be. There's a Time Wizard. That's an awesome card. I'll probably There's two of those right there, I can tell. Uh, I'll probably pull those out after this video. I just know we're already really far into the video, so I don't want to take up too much time. There's some super rare Karibos right there. And Catapult Turtles. Yeah, I'm going to speed through the rest of this. Thunder Dragons. So this is the rest of the Metal Raiders. Okay, I'm back. Just had a quick phone call, so we're going through the rest of the Metal Raiders here. So, some pretty good stuff uh, towards the back of the Metal Raiders. We got a Horn of Heaven and a Barrel Dragon Ultra Rares. One of my favorite cards from Metal Raiders right here is the uh, Barrel Dragon. Really nice condition on that, too. Very clean surface. We'll go ahead and sleeve that one up since I already pulled it out. 
But uh, yeah, very, very happy with these cards for sure. Um, there's a couple of uh, Mirror Forces here. It looks like two of them. We'll go ahead and take a look at those as well. Very nice. Beautiful Mirror Forces from Metal Raiders. There's a heavy storm down here. All the originals, none of the reprints. So we're on to Magic Ruler now. You can see the pack wrapper there. Got a uh, Black Pennant Super Rare. Some Upstart Goblins, those are always good. So looks like he definitely uh, didn't quite as get, get as much of the set. He definitely compl uh, collected completed sets, but uh, painful choice there. Megamorph, that's a nice one. Oh, they're looking pretty full back here. There's a Toon Mermaid, that's a nice one for sure. So it looks like most of these are all all looking uh, like the hollows are all unlimited. So that's okay. But uh, some really nice cards here towards the back. I'll keep that one out actually. So yeah, I don't think there's going to be any other big hitters in here. But uh, still some really cool stuff. There's a Secret Rare Serpent Knight Dragon. Awesome. And it is Magic Ruler, not Spell Ruler. So definitely the original. And on to Labyrinth of Nightmare. Mask of Strict, that is a good ultra rare there. Very nice. Pull that one out. Very cool. And that's just the sleeve. That's it's not actually in that condition. There we go. As you can see, it's very clean. Very took very good care of his cards for sure. Okay, almost done here. We'll go ahead and finish the binder since we're already this far into it. So, if you guys uh, see any cool cards, definitely let me know. Let me know your favorites. Um, if there's any random cards in here that I passed up that you really enjoy, definitely let me know those down in the comments as well. There's a Kaiko, super rare, very good card back in the day. Um, but yeah, so it looks like these are the first, uh, first few sets that he collected. There's a spirit message there. Oh, here's a really good one. Okay. There's a card that's worth pulling out. So it is unlimited. But we do have a Jinzo. And again, in amazing condition. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, this one actually has a bend. So we got our first one with a bend on the back. But the front is really good condition. So definitely a perfect binder card. Still awesome to see a Jinzo. I mean, what an iconic card for sure. Chain Destruction, and uh, yeah, so it looks like most of this, let's see, Fairy Meter, Crush, Limiter, Removal, there's more Supers, a lot of this is uh, just the commas and Rares, just completing the full sets, there's a Goblin Attack Force, Ultra Rare, that's very nice, and yeah, we're pretty much at the end of the binder here, starting to get way sporadic, is this Dark Crisis, no, uh, Legacy of Darkness. And yeah, that must have been the end of his collection right there, Legacy of Darkness. So, very, very nice collection. We'll do a quick recap here. We're just going to move the binder off the table. Okay, so, I'll recap all of the LOB homes. Get them all out here. Okay, so we have Exodia, Monster Reborn, Left Leg, that one's the Australian one. Maneater Bug, also the Australian. Then back to the normal ones. Mystical Elf. Swords of Revealing Light, that one looked really nice. Two Cursed Dragons, both wavy US. Polymerization, Dark Hole, two Gaias, one is Australian. And two Trap Holes, one is Australian. So, again, just a just to note, there's an A there, that's how I know it's Australian. But, uh, yeah, they're all the um, US backs. None of the Asian English here, so... Very nice stack of cards, and then the main highlight, the most exciting card here, is the Blue Eyes White Dragon in beautiful condition. I mean, look at that. Very nice. So, let me know what you thought about this collection. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Sorry for it being so long. Um, hopefully you guys are keeping safe and uh, staying healthy. Let me know what you guys are doing. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Got a lot more videos coming up. If I haven't posted already, I have a collection coming in the mail from a good friend, Troy. It's going to be huge. It's going to be 
like this this collection was um pretty much just the lob was the highlights which is huge don't get me wrong but that collection is going to have just a whole great variety of cards so i'm really looking forward to that so definitely check back for uh, my buddy troy's collection and uh yeah so that's pretty much it for this one thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time